When you come to Budapest, chances are you'll be eating a lot. And thankfully, Hungarian food is amazing. And there is no better way to end a nice lunch or dinner where you had a goulash or a pörköt than by getting desserts. And Hungarian confectionery is, I amazing. believe, not just amazing, but world famous as well. Yes. And today we will be showing you 10 different confectionery items you can get in cafes or wherever you eat. And there's no better way to test out sweet stuff than by having my sweet, lovely producer here on board. Thank you so much for having me. Especially because I have no idea about food when we talk about them, but let's dig in. What are we starting with today first? Cremes. So cremes or cream cake is actually going back all the way in history when we used to have the Austro-Hungarian Empire and all the different nationalities who used to live within its borders of this empire, they had all of their own take on this cream cake. For example, this one is a Bécsi krémes, which is the Vienna version of the cream cake. I believe it's the quintessential grandma dessert that all of us Hungarians love. We always said, it, don't eat it, you're eating while I'm speaking. Well, <laughs> So for me as well, uh, it's, uh, it's a memory from um, the times that I can remember what are you doing, this is not the proper way of eating this. I love cream cake, <laughs> but my kind of a problem with it is, is this layer, this, um, okay. what kind of layer is this? Uh, so my grandma used to make this during, especially winter time, because uh, since this is something you make in a big batch, you were only able to put this into the pantry, which is then cold during winter time, because this does not fit into the fridge. And she made it from scratch, this uh, layer that's here, she made it from, um, from fat um, and it was, it was just amazing. For me, what I like about um, this cremes is that it's light. Yes. So even if it's uh, not the nicest way to eat it, it's still a nice and light cream that's inside. I think the problem with this one is why you are still continue to destroy it and don't eat too much. We still have nine cakes to go. True. It got a bit soft, the upper layer, so it should be more crunchy yeah. and then you are able to basically break through and eat it more nicely. Look, we have to also make b-roll of this, how amazing these are and you know, it might take mm. a few minutes and maybe if you get this fresh, like for example, if you are in the castle district, mm -hmm. you should definitely try Rusworm. That is yes. one of the oldest confectionaries here in Hungary and they are super famous yes. for their cream cake. I love it for, as you, what you mentioned, the simplicity. So the filling is more of a custard pudding type of whipped creamy stuff. <laughs> so this is why it's kind of a light uh, texture. Make sure to check this out because it's simple, it's delicious. Mm. Let's stay with cube shaped creamy <laughs> stuff and I think the superior Rakuci Turos which, if you have followed our channel, you have heard about Rákóczi Ferenc, who was a very famous prince and also a revolutionary. That name has nothing to do with this. It was named after Rákóczi János, if I'm not mistaken. It's named after the creator. And a lot of the stuff that we will have a look at has its name either from its creator or from the place origin. of origin. Do you know why I love this so much? I don't know, but I immediately see Anomalia here. <laughs> I don't know what Anomaly. to call it. Anomaly. <laughs> because it has raisins in it. And yeah. we hate raisins. I think raisin is, is a great way to ruin something. <laughs> but I do understand in a lot of our curd-based yeah, yeah, items, yeah. We, we put raisin. I don't know why we should not do that no, at no. all. Still, um, it should taste good. Yes, because as I said, curd, love it especially Turo Rudi, which is like a dessert bar. We made a whole video about testing all the different kinds of those, so make sure to check that out as well. Mmm, this is very good. There is a little bit of, like in this case, this is uh, apricot jam. Yes. Yeah, some whipped cream to, you know, ease on the curd. This is not, um, I don't think, this is not whipped cream, this is uh, what you make out of... Um, egg. Egg, egg whites. White. Yeah. This is why I have you here. 
Because I have absolutely <laughs> no idea about food. And the curd, and then there is some very thin layer of pastry, but it's a very nice uh, combination. I do remember, however, this looked back in my younger days differently, or th you can find this in different shapes yes, and yes, forms. Yes. But the place where we bought it, it looks like this. The taste in the end will be the same. Uh, it's a very good uh, combination and you should stop eating so much. We still have a lot to go. <laughs> this is got here. This is amazing. Yeah. This is the sourness of the apricot jam mm, and the how the, the sweetness comes together. It's, it's really good. This is very common on menus. If you yes. do find it in Even restaurants, restaurants, yes. make sure to check it out. Next. So here's another staple of the Austro-Hungarian confectionery scene and probably the least exciting looking one, <laughs> Isler. So this is from, as far as the legends go, from Bad Isler, which is a town in Austria, not in Hungary. But wherever you go in Hungary, you will definitely find this available. And the cat just came into the room. <laughs> oh are you interested in some Ischler? Let's continue. Okay, you can see. <laughs> so let's dig into the Ischler now. <laughs> and let's pretend nothing happened. From the 10 items that we bought, this is the least favorite of mine. I eat it if they put it in front of me, but um, I do like more cakes that are, you know, creamy and stuff. Mm, mm. I think the best way to eat this is if you bite in it because it's a bit um, dense, dense no? yeah. and on the drier side. There's actually two layers of this kind of a sponge cakey thing, something, but it's very dense. And in the middle, there is a little bit of Usually. jam, which is either peach jam or in this case, I think it's cherry or raspberry. Ribisi, raspberry. Raspberry. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's something of a red fruit. I'm not a fan of this, but in my childhood, when you know access was limited to all kinds of confectionery, yeah. this one was Always pretty there. well priced, easy to access. If you like chocolate yes. and the sourness of a fruit. Yeah. Then it's again. actually a nice match. Yeah. Not my favorite either. If you're not a fan of, you know, very fancy creamy cakes, then that's something for you to try. This one is definitely one of the most colorful ones that we have today. Mm -hmm. And there is something unique because a lot of the confectionery items have a long history, either coming from the Austro-Hungarian Empire or like the middle of the 20th century. This one is kind of brand new and some contemporary ones are making their way into our usual suspects when it comes to desserts. This is the Örség Zöld Aranya or the green gold of the Örség region, which is in the western side of Hungary. Yes. And it's actually one of my favorites when it comes to these newer ones. So this is basically a part of this uh, cake of the year, um, or how would you say this? Uh, Cake of the country. Cake of the country. So every year we are selecting this. Uh, it's usually around the 20th of August, which is a national holiday in Hungary. Fireworks, Yay. celebration of Hungary's <laughs> birthday and things like that. Yes. yes. We always select the cake of the country, basically. And this is from quite many years ago. I think it's 2016 or 12. Uh, yeah, 16 maybe. You can still eat this and try this. I think this was a very popular one. Yeah. This is the one which has pistachio in no, it? No, 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 no. Do you know what the Örség region is also famous for? We made a video about the region, <laughs> by the way, but at that time we didn't no. realize pumpkin seed oil production mm. there mm, is mm, huge. Mm, mm. And this one has many different ways of using pumpkin seed, pumpkin seed oil. There's even wow. some pumpkin seed mixed yogurt in it. It's so good. Mm. It has so many nice layers of sponge cake, cream, jam, and then this um, pumpkin seeds, which is a bit... Bit. Yeah, no? it's, I'm not saying crunchy, but the texture is very nice. So I, I really like this, uh, uh, this combination. So it's not too creamy. It still has some sponge cake. It's perfect. So I think this is also why it's still there. 
to this day uh, for you to be able to try so I really recommend trying this if you go to any of these confectionaries um, have a taste Next one, also bearing the name of someone, Esterházy cake, Esterházy torta, which is not named after a person who created it who was named Esterházy. Esterházy was a famous family with lots of counts, princes, royalties here in Hungary, and apparently, legend has it, this was their favorite cake. So let's dig into it. Actually, it's also one of my favorite cakes when it comes to really? classical Hungarians. Yes. Why do you think that is? Because it has the right amount of cream and pastry. Or this sponge cake or whatever. I had to think about what pastry is in this case. <laughs> sorry, maybe because I'm using the Because to me the wrong all of word. this is pastry. Yeah, but sorry. probably a part of it is pastry. No, I the don't layer. Know. You know what I mean. Mm. Mm. This is unique because of the walnut flavor mm. in it. And I really enjoy walnut next to something sweet. For me, it's a bit sweet. But maybe it's because of the cream itself. I do like, however, the walnuts. And for me, this cake, yet again, brings back a lot of memories mm. from my childhood. Because my grandma baked a ton of cakes, birthday cakes. And this was basically her go-to cake when whoever in the family had a birthday, she made something similar to this so whenever i go to a confectionery and i choose this then the reason is because of the memory i i have with this uh, with this cake if you happen to see the cake in its full circle form yes, you will notice pretty. a pattern on mm. top which is basically just thought for this mm, particular yeah. one staying again with something classical the gerbo which is named after gerbo emir who was a famous confectioner here in Hungary, but we don't really know if he came up with the recipe for this, but most likely one of his employees did. And Gerbo is a really nice cafe in the middle of Budapest. And we visited a lot of cafes. So if you want to maybe try some of these out in a nice cafe setting, maybe check out that video and get some ideas on where to go next. Until then, let's taste it. Gerbo. This is very good. Gerbo mm. is a very good cake. It has apricot jam in it. But There's it's, cacao. It's, and I think there is some no, nut, I mean it, walnut something has to be in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's walnuts. I guess. Let's <laughs> fact check somewhere. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Dorat Dio. Mm -hmm. Walnuts. As a child, I actually didn't really like this because the apricot jam's sourness mm -hmm. is a little bit on the stronger side and as a child i like more sweet stuff mm. like duh every child loves sweet stuff but today i'm a mature person at least i think so <laughs> i like beer wine and other stuff and i like this as well i think in general if you like walnuts uh, then both of these cakes uh, the gerbo and the esterhazy you should give it a try it's um it's a very good cake. This one is a little bit more complex in the flavor mm. combination. The other one, the Esther has, is more simple. Mm, yeah. But if you happen to find both of them, why don't you just buy both of them and try <laughs> it for yourself? And maybe let us know in the comments below, which one did you find yeah. best? Again, classical. Again, named after its producer, Dobos István. <laughs> why do you look at me like that? This is a, in a cake shape form. Today in the confectionery where we went, it was more of this shape. In the end, the taste is the same. For myself and for my brother, uh, for birthdays, my grandma made this as well. Very soon it turned out that we don't really like the cake, we like what's on top. Because <laughs> so you were children. Thought, yes, because it's a, a glaze of sugar, it's basically. It's hard. And we only ate the top, we never really ate what's below, uh, so she stopped making it. Let's flip it. Bang. <laughs> by the way, it's made by Dobos T. Jozef, Dobos Jozef, back in the Austro-Hungarian times. And by the way, the reason why this is famous and important in the culinary history of Hungary is because 
with the new technologies that came in during those times with the industrial revolution etc this one was thought of you know having a cake that can last for longer mm -hmm. and with having this large sugar glaze on the top that seals it i believe that was the idea it would make this last longer have a longer shelf life this one was never my favorite cake it's a really unique cake i will have to say but my problem is actually the thing that you liked which is the top mm -hmm. i don't really like crunchy things like crunchy sugar <laughs> hopefully you can hear it you can eat it separately you can maybe leave it on your side however I would still recommend giving this a shot if you tried the other ones as well. Here we have Sobolci Olmás Mágtorta or Apple Poppy Seed Cake from Sobolc, which is a county in Hungary. And they are probably famous for their apple, I guess. Yes. However, I am super excited for this. <laughs> because of the poppy seeds. Because the poppy seeds are amazing. I just <laughs> love that. And this one was also a cake of the country yes. several years ago. Yeah, I think this is the uh, this is the oldest older one. It's from yeah, 2012. I, mm. I like this one because this is not too sweet. Yeah. So this is just the right amount of sweetness. It's not dense at all. The apple, it's basically the same texture, the apple, what you have in your apple pie. So I think the flavoring is more or less the same, but the Urshig one, I think it's still better than this one. What I will say is the Urshig one has a little bit better texture because it has a crunchy element to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. But if I have to choose from the two, the flavor profile here, I like it a little bit better because of the poppy, seeds. poppy seeds are amazing. <laughs> this is Mignon, which has <laughs> Not a... from Gru. <laughs> No, but yeah, so here's the thing. You know the movie Gru? And they have the minions, those yellow small creatures. A minion, if I look up in the dictionary, means follower of someone powerful. Now in Hungarian, when we translated this title, instead of, you know, saying Kubatu or something like that, which is the Hungarian version of minion, right? We call this minion, which is a French word for something small. But it's super cute because they have this this kind of shape. Although this is not yellow, this is pink, <laughs> but you will definitely find this. And I find that a true achievement of Hungarian translation. <laughs> this is punch minion because it tastes like punch. Well, let's hope it doesn't <laughs> feel like a punch to my face. <laughs> so it's a sponge cake that has, you know, some, I think it's drowned in something and that's mm. how it gets a flavoring. I like the outside layer very much. It's sweet, but the inside is not sweet at, I'm not saying at all, but it's a nice combination. So I, I do like this. Yes, it has raisins in it. And yes, we love grapes, but we love it in wine form. So let's stick to that. <laughs> yes. And I think this is also something which is not just typical here in Hungary. No, this is actually Hungarian and a Hungarian oh. guy made this during oh. the Austro-Hungarian Empire mm. and I don't know why but apparently it was originally called a Kugler because of the shape. Oh, because it's like a Kugel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I believe the guy who made it was named Kugler. But we will look that <laughs> up as well. However, in the early 20th century, the French name of Mignon caught on. Oh, because okay. it's small and it's cute. Yes. Like a minion. And tasty. We have one more left. One more, one more. left. Okay. One more one left. One more, yes. Let's get that. <laughs> we <ooh. laughs> Sugar rush! <laughs> this one is a Shomlui Galushka. Shomlu is a hill or a mountain that's very famous for its wine, yet this did not get its name from it. There's Fort next to Budapest, which has the Shomyu and the person who created this back in the day basically went for hikes there all the time and he enjoyed those hills so much he called this Shomloi Galushka. And Galushka is like a dumpling but this is more like a sponge cake. It has nothing to do with Galushka. Shomloi consists, consists of three types of sponge cake. 
and too many words, I have to say. So one is a vanilla flavor, so a simple sponge cake. One is a chocolate sponge cake and one is a walnut sponge cake. And then it gets uh, this whipped cream on top and melted chocolate, basically. It's chocolate zone. in yeah. chocolate. But the chocolate has like this um, alcoholic tanginess yes, because there's rum. Yes, it has a rum. bit of rum in it. Yes, yes, yes the yes, chocolate. Yes. It does not look like a complex dessert, but it is. So I highly recommend if you like, you know, chocolate and sponge cake and whipped cream. And it's a, it's a very comforty dessert, I would it's say. It's like a party of your friends. Yes, Different kinds of people together, are there. Yeah. And diversity comes together <laughs> and they just make a fun party in your mouth. You probably will go to a restaurant um, and the chances of having this on the menu is very high, so give it a go. Indeed. And I believe this is our final yes, that I we am, tried I am today. <laughs> we are on the sugar rush, which probably means we should be wrapping up now and then we will crash and go to sleep. By but, the way, Akos, yes. I wanted to ask you during the whole session. Yes. I really like your shirt. Awesome, thank you, you like very my much. Shirt? I super like your shirt because I also have a shirt like that. And if you want a shirt like this or this one, this is by the way a brand new design. Yeah. We haven't really worn this in our videos so far, but if you enjoy what we do and want to support us and maybe support your fashion with some of the designs that we have, then we have a link in the description below and you can support us by buying one of our t-shirts or pullovers. Or online. you just can give a like, a comment, and obviously subscribe. That also supports us a lot. And I believe we will crash soon because of all the <laughs> sugar. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in our future videos. Bye! Bye.